it was, it was, um, it was devastating. It was a death sentence to me because I've seen it destroy and kill a lot of people in my family, uh, people in my community. I'm, I am African American, I'm a black uh, male, and I've seen it destroy people in my community. So um, I, I, I was like, it's over. I, I couldn't believe it. And when he told me it was kind of surreal, I, 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 I said, okay, all right, you know. But when I was coming down the elevator, it really was really hitting me. And I passed a lady in a wheelchair with her leg cut off. And it was like, wow, this could be me. And uh, if I don't do something, it was just going to involve me changing my mindset, really making some decisions. Is either do I want to live or die? And I took things to the extreme to where is that candy bar worth me getting my foot cut off? And ironically, this is funny. And you know, I made sure I kept my relationship with God, you know, to get some spiritual support, family. I told as many people as possible so that they can put the pressure on me too. So if I start slipping. Now I got to face, you know, my friend at work or, or, or a family member. Hey, what are you doing? Did you exercise today? Because, you know, so I can bring some personal accountability to myself. Some people are afraid to do that. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to put that extra pressure on myself. Uh, made a point to start exercising, changed completely everything. It was basically making healthy decisions. Uh, the best way to have a healthy, prosperous lifestyle, what I found out through this process, is it starts off making healthy decisions.